Hi guys, uh, I'm here with a Power BI reporting analyst, uh, but most importantly, my wife. <laughs> uh, do you want to say hello to the audience and say your name? Hello, I'm Jo. <laughs> okay, so you were not a reporting or data person before, isn't it? You are a developer. So how did you end up getting into this Power BI reporting world? I think just by coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's elaborate that. Like, <laughs> what was the coincidence like? So, uh, as you know, I worked as a developer for a couple of years, and then I took a break. So when I wanted to go back to mm. the go back to work, so I thought, you know, I would uh, I need to do something different rather than doing the same old coding. Yeah. So that's when I uh, I thought, you know, why not uh, into data management? Because since I already have some experience with the data and the data management tools. Yeah. So that's how I ended up uh, uh, doing a role in one of the ministries, uh, dealing with the data and uh, some basic uh, reporting, not with Power BI though. Yeah. Uh, that's how I got interest into uh, data management, uh, and uh, then I moved to the other job uh, where I had the opportunity to work on Power BI. So that's how I ended up doing Power BI. Yeah. Cool. Let's continue working. So. I mean, I already know all of these things, but I'm just going to ask like a dumb person. What was your academic background? Uh, I did a Bachelor of Technology. Yeah. And with you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we, we both studied computer science, uh, ba Bachelor of Technology together. And that's how I met her really. Um, and uh, yeah, we even ended up working together for some time uh, as software developers uh, before each of us going on different career paths. Just to kind of give you guys an update, she started working as a Power BI developer, was it September last year or August? September. Yeah. And after working for a few months with a government agency here, uh, she recently switched the job to another ministry, uh, but the same role, isn't it? Power BI Almost. reporting analyst. Yeah. So, uh, we, uh, when I ask her questions, I'm going to talk a bit about like old job and the new job and you know, switch between those two things. So, was it hard getting into that team, jumping into Power BI all of a sudden? Uh, no, uh, because the job didn't really require a Power BI experience. They were just looking for somebody who is good with data management. Okay. So, that's how I ended up getting this job. Uh, so the, our team was a very big team with a lot of analysts with a uh, few of them having like five six years of experience so yeah I got good support and uh, I learned from them so that is that is my first power bi role anyway so I just started looking at those reports and uh, quickly got into the work okay that's good and how, apart from looking at the existing power bi report how else did you learn power bi uh, of course, I joined your course online. <laughs> you remember that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so that's my first online course I ever did uh, with Chendu.org. Okay. So, yeah, so that course was really helpful because that gave me a basic understanding of how it works and how I should be looking at the reports. Yeah. And then I had uh, live data and live reports, uh, uh, which I kind of you know uh, using this knowledge and that knowledge yeah. i was able to create the uh, power bi reports okay that's cool and um, was it like uh, which part of the whole power bi thing uh, the data management or dax or the visual design which was the hardest to understand when you when you started in this journey i would say dax Okay. Because tax, uh, because visuals, because since I've already used Excel a lot, so I'm pretty much comfortable with the visuals, like, you know, what yeah. visuals uh, mm -hmm. go for what. But DAX is something new to me, though I come from a coding background. Uh, DAX is a little bit different to the uh, normal uh, yeah. language. Mm -hmm. So I, f I found it a bit hard. So initially, I just started with the basic syntax and then uh, uh, one thing I would like to mention here because you know the row context and the filter context that was very confusing initially yeah. I didn't understand how it actually works behind the scenes and there is no way to know yeah. actually how the calculations work behind the scenes yeah. uh, but as I worked on I got the idea of you know how ex 
exactly that uh, hmm. thing works. So I would say DAX. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I was learning Power BI, also I think DAX was the trickiest one, and that's why I spend a lot of time in my classes, kind of making sure people understand how DAX really works with many many examples. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I want to move us and talk about uh, some of the actual questions that people have submitted in the chat as well. All right. This is from Aparna. What topics do we need to know in MS BI Power BI, and how much knowledge of DAX is required to grab a job as analyst? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me answer that for you. Uh, I think more than the DAX knowledge, I mean, in some interviews they may ask you DAX questions, but I feel like more than the DAX knowledge, if you have solid business and and the context of that reporting platform, that might be more useful, at least for the couple of interviews that I've been on, both as a employee and as a hirer, we never really focused on whether somebody knew DAX or Excel formulas per se. We wanted to understand if they know enough about the business and the life cycle of developing and deploying reports. You know that that is actually more important. But I feel like you know you need to have some DAX knowledge. It's not super important, but it is also very easy to develop. This is an interesting one. This is from Pedro. Considering a data analyst focused on Power BI, what other tools should be learned uh, to be attractive in the market? Um, what I tools do you know? You know SQL. Of course, SQL is a must because that's yeah. the that's the basic uh, to deal with the data. So. And a little bit of Excel knowledge will be also helpful because sometimes we have you have to clean the data in the Excel before uh, you bring yeah. the data into the Power BI. So Excel, SQL, and yeah, yeah, I think those are very good starting points. And uh, I mean, th- there is alternatives. So, for example, you could learn Power Query and do the same things that SQL does. But in many places, I feel like they will already have an SQL database or some sort of that. So dealing with that, interfacing with that through queries is more natural than bringing everything over to Power Query and doing stuff there. You know, I've never done Power Query in Excel. Yeah, but it is there. (laughs) Once you know it is there, you can use it. This is a question that many people ask. I don't know whether you can answer, but I'll ask you, you just out of curiosity. How to get a job after learning Power BI and Excel? How to start that kind of like career flow? Like, so how to get a job or what you do after getting a job? No, how to get a job. So I think, you know, in my, in, uh, when I got this job in this current ministry, so they, they looked mostly at how I am with the data management. Yeah. Uh, so they are not really keen about uh, how I used uh, Power BI or DAX. But one question, though, they asked about DAX is, uh, uh, what is the syntax of calculate? Okay. So that's the only thing they asked. Yeah. Um, so what was the question? Yeah. So I think how to get the job. Um, in the in a way, you got the job without having any prior. Power BI experience yes. or um, to a good extent skills. I mean, you you have coding background, you have data background, so it helped. Uh, I think basically they look uh, if you have. I think they'll be happy if you have some SQL experience and some kind of uh, data management at least in the Excel in Excel. Yeah. I think that I think that should be good enough to get a job in Power BI. Yeah, that's good. Okay, this is a good one. Sanjay says, what are the steps to learn Power BI for a new learner? Uh, I mean, you were a new learner, what, like eight months ago? Yes. Yeah. So, my starting point is definitely joining your course. <laughs> Again, not plug, I'm not paying her to say this. <laughs> of course, she will say this because it's our business. So. <laughs> 
So that's that's definitely one of the starting points. And then I also watched a couple of videos on YouTube. So whenever I used to have time, I'll just go and watch a YouTube, especially Guy in a Cube or. <laughs> don't bring, don't bring guy in a cube. <laughs> no, I watch guy in a cube yeah, as well. Yeah. Because you, because oh. I really like the videos because they're very short and uh, they 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 tell the point. Like you know, if you are searching for one particular topic, then yeah. you know you can definitely go to guy in cube and uh, you can find the answer. So yeah, so I used to watch a lot of YouTube videos and then once I started. Um, first, I learned Power BI by just looking at the reports uh, which yeah. were already designed um, and then uh, slowly I started uh, trying to recreate the existing report just to make sure that I understand the concepts yeah. and then uh, try to uh, redo the DAX as well yeah. uh, just, just to understand you know how yeah. it works behind the scenes and uh, once I'm comfortable with that like I would uh, that I have cre I was able to replicate the existing report using my own DAX then I thought like okay at least I know some power bi now yeah and then yeah it's an ongoing process and daily I learn something or the other okay we just wait for that flight to go where is it so what was the most fun thing that you did in Power BI in all these jobs? Uh, creating beautiful reports. Okay. <laughs> you got a lot of appreciation for that, isn't it? Yes, there? yes. Because, you know, my first ever report, I still remember it. Yeah, I did one for finance paper. And I really got huge ap appreciation because of how I put together everything yeah. and how I was able to tell a story uh, from a report yeah so since that was my first report it's like my baby so um that was one of the best thing that ever happened to me yeah okay this next one is uh, i mean nobody really asked but i thought it would be beneficial to have this question in the interview uh, do you want to tell our audience like what what is an average salary for somebody doing power bi reports within New Zealand like you can't really compare with other markets but at least in New Zealand like what's the average salary like mm, I would say the starting salary would be somewhere around 80k okay per annum yeah and then if you are experienced like you know like at least if you have like two three years of experience then definitely it will be somewhere near uh, uh, 90 to 100 yeah yeah that uh, kind of aligns with my experience too all right, that's a, that's a wrap. I think uh, I kind of addressed some of the questions that our audience wanted. You weren't really keen to do this. Were you, were you glad you did this interview or you're still nervous to talk in front of camera? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still nervous. Okay. Yeah, because I never faced a camera before. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's natural. I mean, I'm, I've gotten used to it, but I still feel crazy looking at the camera lens when I'm talking as if, there is some imaginary person behind it. Of course, there's people there, but... Uh, oh, well, my hands are freezing. I don't know about you. I think we should just finish it up and go home. It's getting cold. See you guys. That's all. Uh, if you have more questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, Joe and I will try to answer them in a follow-up video or maybe in the comment section. You want to say bye? <laughs> See you. Oh, but it's cold!